Hey, my, my name is Dennis. I'm uh, 41 years of age. Um, for 20 years I've been uh, really, really depressed and like this kind of sort of situation, like making a video would stress the hell out of me uh, and I would not be comfortable in my own skin or anything like that. Um, after coming here, all of that has changed. Um, not by force, uh, like I could change in the past for a while uh, by forcing and, uh, and um, just powering through by willpower, although that would relieve some of my anxiety for a while, it would always catch up to me and uh, I would end up being in the same place uh, where I started off and uh, getting Every time I did that, I was getting so much more frustrated and frustrated and frustrated to the point where I was pretty much ready, pretty much ready to just end it or, you know, give up on everything. Um, so this was definitely my, my last, my last option because I had tried all the things you can imagine. I spent so much money on, on personal development courses and all kinds of stuff, uh, which I never finished anyway in the first place. So there was a lot of money just <clears throat> thrown into the wind. Um, but yeah, that uh, feels very, very different now after two ceremonies of Iboga. And it's been an intense challenge to face myself, uh, the fears and doubts and all that stuff but so it is like you, the longer we keep ignoring those things the stronger they i guess get and impossible impossible to ignore um <clears throat> where you're getting forced to do something um and for many people that doesn't look very positive <laughs> um well so I don't know if I want to say so much about the experience itself, the Iboga, because it's so different for everybody, but of course facing yourself is not always the easiest thing uh, and you're forced to do that, but when you do it properly and you accept it, these things actually can be removed, like disappear. The root of the problem can be attacked and uh, resolved. So the medicine definitely has shown me that I've been living in a in a uh, infinite loop, <laughs> and uh, I'll just share this. In fact, one in uh, one of the ceremonies, I got stuck in a loop in my head and it was really scary and terrifying and uh, but two days later now two three days later i have realized that this was a really crazy way to bring home to me that that point um that i've been living in a feedback loop my in for 20 years trying things doing the same thing over and over again, the same behaviors, the depression, the addiction, and without ever, you know, getting out of that loop. So by showing me that I was in, in a loop, it was really terrifying that I, I will never forget that feeling of being stuck in that loop. So I will, um, it will be much, much easier for me to avoid anything like that ever happening again. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's it. That's that's hammered home the point for me in the second ceremony. And uh, if you're on the fence like I was before coming here, um, the team here um, are extremely professional. And before I came here, I. I spoke to uh, Steven on the phone a couple of times and it felt so extremely genuine and honest. Um, 
when he listened to me and I was desperate and didn't know what to do, didn't have money to come here even. Um, just the encouragement and the, you know, that, that was just what made it super real. And uh, the people working here, you can count on them to 110% at all times. Um, they'll fix anything, do anything for you. And the food is great. Uh, yeah, surrounded by nature. There's, um, yeah. Uh, I think there's so much more else to say now, but um, I hope you do make it here and uh, give yourself that opportunity. And um, yeah, I think that's it.